fucking month. Girl. What's up, what's up, Candy Crew? How you doing, how you doing, how you doing? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Candace, and today, y'all, I'm gonna try to vlog. I'm gonna try to vlog this week, my moving week or whatever. I'm gonna see how this go, okay? So since we family and everything, can I rant to y'all real quick? Like, I gotta get this off my chest. Before, I was gonna keep it to myself, but actually, I think I'm a little bothered now. So, how about... I'm supposed to move, like, like y'all know I'm moving. Y'all can see it. Y'all saw them boxes. I'm moving. On October 30th, which is my move-in date, I was supposed to move into this apartment layout. Like, this apartment is, like, the biggest one-bedroom apartment that this complex has to offer. Like, it's the nicest, biggest one-bedroom. It's a thousand some change square feet. It has an attached garage, so I don't have to worry about parking anymore. Like, it had a garage. It's a corner unit, so it has, like, windows galore. So much natural light. Like, I love natural light. Because, you know, on a corner unit, there's no one on the side of you, so they can just put extra windows compared to if you're in a center unit, like the one I'm in now, like in this apartment. They can't put windows on the side because there's people beside you. So I only have two windows in this apartment. One window in my living room, which is the door to the balcony, and then the other window is in my bedroom. You get what I'm saying? So like this one bedroom or apartment that I signed the lease for, it had everything I wanted. Like it even had like a nice little hallway because one thing I don't like about this apartment, I mean now is that you can see everything from the front door. You can see the whole apartment from the front door. Ain't no hallway, ain't no entryway, ain't no way to just get you in. Like you just see everything up front. But not the apartment I signed the lease for. My new apartment had a nice little hallway. You know, it just had, it was everything I wanted right everything so tell me why i get a phone call from the lisa office talking about hey i got some bad news the tenant who is in the apartment you signed the lease for he needs some more time he's not ready to move yet so you won't be able to move into the apartment until november 11. i said what now well, I'm gonna go for 12 days, so like I ain't got nowhere to go. So then, because that was the Lisa agent who called me because she had to break the news. So then she was like, well, let me put you through with my manager. I'm like, yeah, put me through with your manager. So I got on the phone with the manager. I'm like, y'all, we got a problem because you tell me I can't move in until November 11th, even, go, even though I signed the lease for that apartment for October 30th. The tenant who's in that apartment lease has expired. And he already gave me his 30-day notice of leave. Like, he was supposed to been gone. Why is he there? Why is he here? So when I get on the phone with the manager, she was like, well, it's his job. His job was supposed to transfer him to back to Atlanta and now they delayed it. So he needs a little bit more time. He just needs until October 30th and then you can move in November 11th. So I tell her the same thing, like that's not gonna work for me because number one, I signed the lease. We have a contract, boo. I've been signed that lease. I signed that lease for that apartment back in August. I paid a deposit and all them fees back in August for this apartment. He got to go. Did you tell him that he couldn't do that? Did you tell him that you already leased out the apartment? She was like, yeah, we did, but I, which I think she lying. I don't think she said nothing. But anyway, she was like, well, what I can do for you, I can get you into unit, blah, 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 whatever. So I'm like, hold on. I look at that unit. I was like, this is y'all's smallest apartment. I sought lease and paid the deposit for your largest, your largest apartment that's over a thousand square feet. And because you're trying to break our contract, our lease, you're going to offer me your smallest apartment that's 700 and something square feet for the same price. So I told her, I was like, no, I'm not taking that small itty bitty apartment. That apartment is smaller than the one I'm in now. Like I'm not taking that apartment. And she was like, well, that's the only thing I have to offer you. I said, no, give me a two-bedroom. What sense did that make? Where's your customer service? If you're trying to break our contract, if you're trying to inconvenience me, you should offer me something that's equal to or better than what I'm supposed to get, not less. The apartment that I signed the lease for was like 1,010, it's like it's 1,000 and something square feet. A two-bedroom is 1,080 square feet. It's all like a 70 square foot difference. Why not give me a two bedroom for only a seven with only a 70 square foot difference instead of trying to get me your smallest one bedroom where there's like a 200 square foot difference? 
Like that don't make any sense to me. And she's like, well, I can't do that. I can't give you a two bedroom. I just had to give you this one bedroom. And what I can do since you're losing a garage, what I can do is get you a detached garage. Like, you know, the garages that be in the parking lot that's not connected to the apartment. She was like, I can give you one of those for free for one month. One month? Girl. Y'all got so heated with her, I got so mad, I just hung up in her face, like, bruh, uh-uh. So I hang up in her face, and at this point, I'm sad. You know, this is the second time this didn't happen to me. This happened to me at another apartment before, so I'm I'm upset. So I call my daddy, I call my mom, I call my friend, like, I'm calling everybody, like, y'all, why this keep happening to me? What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? I ain't got nowhere to go. She tried to offer me this small apartment. Like, I'm just, I'm mad, I'm upset. So my mama told me to call corporate, which is what I did, so I called corporate, and I got in touch with the regional manager. He was like, hey, I just heard about everything. Before I called you, I called the manager at the apartment to try to figure out what's going on. And she told me a situation that we're having a layover tenant. And he was basically saying, you know, because of COVID, they can't evict him, which is a lie. Because the eviction moratorium for COVID only covers people who've had a loss of income and they can't pay their rent. It doesn't cover people who just want to stay longer just because which is what he want to do. He, he just want to stay just because. He got money. He got the money to pay his rent. He just want to stay just because. So anyway, he was like, well, we can't do it because of COVID. We can't evict him. The courts are backed up or whatever. So he's like, V, I'm just going to call her V. The um the girl that's the girl who's the manager at the apartment. He was like, well, yeah, V told me that she offered you one of our one bedrooms. And I was like, yeah, she's offering me the smallest one bedroom y'all have. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I told him, I told him the same thing. Like, he's supposed to offer me equivalent or better not worse you're the one inconveniencing me you're the one trying to break our lease i'm not breaking the lease y'all are breaking the lease and so long story short because y'all i could rant about this forever long story short what we end up agreeing to and y'all this took about four or five days like this ain't happened in that one conversation because i was mad i left a negative review on yelp i left a negative review on them on google like i every, like anywhere i could leave a, a review about that apartment I left one and I wrote like a two page letter telling everything. Like I put prices, I put all that stuff in there about what this apartment complex is doing to me. Like y'all, where's y'all customer service? But anyway. What we ended up settling on, which I'm still not happy about it, but it is what it is. What can I do? So what he ended up offering me is another one bedroom apartment with that's 870 square feet. So it's not the smallest one. I think it's their third biggest one. So he offered me that apartment. And then once that guy moves out of that apartment I was supposed to get, or if anyone moves out of that exact same layout, like whichever one happens first, I get first dibs on that layout. I can transfer to that apartment without having to pay the transfer fee, which is like 750. And then um, instead of getting a garage free for one month, like that girl tried to do, he's giving me a garage for free until I can transfer into the other layout. Oh, y'all, I'm getting a headache seeing here trying to retalk about this stuff. Oh, and I can also leave the apartment complex at any time without having to worry about paying to break my lease. Like I can break my lease at any time without having to pay because... They sticking me in an apartment that I never wanted in the first place. So yeah, that's what it came down to, y'all. I didn't even give y'all all the details because I'll be talking forever. This vlog would be an hour long. So because of that, I'm not even really going to unpack anything in the in this temporary apartment because I'm like, if I have to move again in three months, what's the point? Like it's just gonna be bare minimum stuff in there. But at least I do have the garage because that's where I'm just gonna store all my stuff. Like y'all, I had so much content planned for you guys. Like I was gonna do a decorate my bedroom with me. Like I know a lot of y'all like my bedroom now. I get a lot of compliments on my bedroom, but y'all, what about I do a total upgrade? I bought a whole new bed, like a whole new everything. It's a whole new color scheme. Like everything was supposed to be different in that other apartment. And now, it's still gonna happen. It's just delayed. It's delayed. I was just trying to like it was just gonna be more than just hair though. I was gonna give y'all hair. I was gonna give y'all home decor, lifestyle, like that kind of stuff. Like, like I was about to give y'all a plethora of content, but it got pushed back. But I am still gonna do an empty apartment tour. I don't know which one gonna come up this video, this vlog, or the empty apartment tour. But I will give y'all an empty apartment tour of. The one I'm moving into right now. But anyway, let me go ahead and get on out the door because my best friend, my road dog, my rider Datia, her and her man just bought their first home. Yay! So I'm gonna go over there and check it out because they just moved in this weekend. 
So I'm gonna go over there and, you know, get a little house tour, pick out a room that I want to be mine, you know, just, you know, like little stuff like that. And then I'm gonna take y'all with me to my parents' house so we can go see what they doing. They probably ain't doing nothing but just laying in the bed. But all right, y'all, let me go ahead and go because it's two o'clock. I was supposed to be at her house at two o'clock. And I still gotta pick up the food for us to eat. So yeah. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, my friend got her first house. Hootie hoo! Mm. That's so cute. That's so cute in country. What you talking about, Jakai? Say hey, Jakai. Say hey, Tuda. <laughs> Look, you're just like your daddy. Good green. What's going on? What you talking about? What you talking about? All right, so this is the front door when you come in. Let's see. We walk in, there's a door right here. I guess this is a closet. Yeah, a coat closet. Then this is the master bedroom. It's so cute. Oh, you got, you. so you did put it up. My mama put it up. She must have oh. dusted it off. And that's me. Y'all, Tia took my mirror and my little thing. We do got the same mirror. I got that same mirror. Anyway, ooh. Y'all, those some cute sinks. These are some cute sinks, Tia. Thanks. <laughs> we gotta do the whole thing, y'all talk. Thanks, Candy. Oh, thank you. This me. Okay, come on through. You got the toilet off to the side, all private. The frosted window. That's your trash can. No, it's a night. That is a trash can. No, not trash can. I write that. What it's is it? Like the mirror. Oh, mm -hmm. got you a nice size tub. This is now. I love this shower. This is nice. Did you run the water? No. Like you um. Can't get did you? I'm, I'm done. Did you? Did you run the water like Daddy said? No, I didn't. Oh. Hey, this is the liberal. She got her a fireplace. Y'all ignore the stuff. You know we got a baby. We she ain't moved in yet, so you know, give us time. Give us time. Yeah. Then the kitchen. That is so cute. She got her little island. Got her little desk. My friend's so grown, she just got her a big girl house. <laughs> got a nice deep sink and everything. Ooh. All right, so, ooh, why my knees hurt, you? All right, now we're going up the stairs. All right, so I'm going to the left. So as soon as you go to the left, you have one room. I think she said it's going to be the guest room. I don't know what she said. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, this is going to be the guest room. And that's just a closet. Then you come in here. And here is the other room. This is going to be the baby's room. Isn't this so cute? I feel like this would be a perfect room for a little baby. That's just the closet right there. Then you come this way. Then you got the bathroom. Uh -huh. There we go. You come this way, you got the bathroom. This is just so cute, I love it. This is like the perfect home for a new family. Bathroom, ain't nothing to see, it's just a bathroom. That me. And then this is the other bedroom that I think Jeremy wants to make a man cave. I don't know. But yeah. 
So this is the other bedroom with the closet. The double door closets. I like this one too. But can those open? Yeah. I'm scared. Let's we'll some pop out. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> if it was a movie, something would have came out. <laughs> nice y'all my friend got a whole house so this is so cute i'm so happy for my friend she got her a nice four bedroom house it is amazing all right y'all so i have made it to my daddy house now left tia's house it's my daddy right there he talking and then i got my niece here with my dog hold on well, not with my dog my daddy dog hold on that's my niece jordan and the dog chase Say what's up, Jordan. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so country, so ratchet, honey. How old are you, Jordan? Eleven. She eleven. She look like a grown woman. <laughs> look at her. Eleven. Almost look, grown. Not I'm, there, but I'm almost grown yet. Almost like look, y'all. Well, she do got on some tall flip flops on, but she taller than me. She's look. She 11. She taller than me. <laughs> I get my height from my mama child. And what grade you in? Six. In the sixth grade. Look at that child. I'll tell you. Good morning, guys. It is moving day. Y'all, I'm so excited. Even though I'm not too happy with the management at the apartment I'm moving to, I'm still happy to be going to a new place. I love this apartment, but I've been here three years. It's the first apartment I moved into after I graduated college. So yeah, it's time for a change. It's time for an update. Um, y'all ain't gotta tell me I look busted. I already know. Y'all ain't gotta point it out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, y'all. So it is eight o'clock right now. Um, the other apartment complex doesn't open until nine. So I'll go over there at nine to get the key. And then I'll record the empty apartment tour real quick. And then I'll come back here to meet my brother at 10 because he's going to help me move. Y'all, you don't realize how much stuff you have until you move. Like, I did not think I had this much stuff. Like, I'm only in a one-bedroom apartment. It's just me. But, y'all, it feels like a lot. I hate it for the people who have to move a whole family or something. Like, it's just me and Storm. But, child, I don't know. I feel like a lot. So, oh, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what is all packed right now. So, this is what my apartment is looking like right now. You see, you got my TV, my TV stand, my little desk and everything from work. Child, go Storm. Like my sofa, all these boxes, boxes on boxes on boxes. Y'all, this wagon right here, this wagon right here comes in super clutch. Like, I'm telling you, if you live in an apartment and you're like on the top floor, the third floor, fourth floor, whatever, like when it comes to taking groceries with um, putting a whole bunch of, like if you didn't have to carry a whole bunch of stuff, you don't want to have to go up and down them stairs, up and down the elevator. Get you one of these wagons. I'm going to link it down below because I'm telling you, this freaking wagon is a lifesaver and it's foldable. Like, it comes in clutch. But yeah, all of this stuff, just boxes on boxes, my mattress, more boxes, you know, my bed. And the thing is, like, a lot of this stuff, like, this section right here is not even going to my apartment. This is going in the garage. And I'll, I'll explain why later. But, yeah, this is all going in the garage. And then this is going in the actual apartment. Like, all this is going in the apartment. But this right here, this all back there, this is going in a garage because... It doesn't have room it doesn't have room in my apartment but yeah y'all it's a lot or at least it feels like a lot maybe maybe just because my apartment is so small that it feels like i have a lot of boxes and then maybe when we start moving it really won't be but y'all it feels like a lot right now but anyway i just want to come in and check in with you guys i'll probably check in with you later on today all right y'all so since my apartment is empty now i guess i can give you an empty apartment tour of my old apartment y'all getting our y'all like getting so many tours in this little video okay so um this is the door one thing i didn't like about this apartment is that you can basically see the whole apartment from the front door 
So like this is the kitchen and dining room. This is the living room. This is the bathroom. That right there is my closet. And then back there is the bedroom. So you can pretty much see everything from the front door. But yeah, you come this way. My living room. Storm jacked up them blinds, y'all. So the kitchen. Then you go this way. And this was the, I guess, laundry room, laundry hallway, which another thing um, I didn't like about this is that it's just sitting out. Like in my new apartment, it's behind some doors so you can't see it, but yeah, this is sitting out. Oh, one more thing. Another thing I didn't like about this apartment is that there is no light in the living room, no ceiling fan, no light or anything. So you just had to use a lamp and I hated that. But yeah, so you would come this way this would be the bedroom. So this is where y'all would always see me recording. So I use the camera would be right here and y'all see this with my bed and stuff. And then the closet. I'm so happy my new um, apartment has an actual door on the closet. So people can't be looking at my closet. <laughs> but yeah, then you just come back around. Back in the closet, into the bathroom. And then you're back at the front door. Um, I'm kind of, it's bittersweet, y'all. Y'all, it's bittersweet seeing the apartment so empty. Like, oh, I remember when I first moved in this apartment, I was so happy. Like, this is my first place all to myself. I was so excited. And now I'm just like, deuces, I'm over it. All right, y'all, so I am all moved in. I mean, I still got stuff everywhere, but everything is in this apartment. But y'all, Storm is still scared. Oops. This is where Storm has been hiding for the past hour, poor baby. Like I said, he's only been used to my other apartment, so that's where I got him when he was a kitten. So now he just doesn't know what to do. He's scared. So yeah, I wonder how long it's gonna take for him to <laughs> come out and explore his new home. All right guys, so it is now Tuesday. So it has been four days of me being in this apartment. Um, yeah, so everybody keeps asking me, all my friends and stuff ask me, you know, are you excited? Are you happy? Because I've been wanting this apartment for a long time and y'all, like, I literally feel nothing. I thought I would be more happy to be over here because I've been wanting to move into this apartment complex for a long time. And now that I'm here, I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've had so many problems over here. Like I said, like I told you guys earlier, this is my temporary apartment, so maybe that's why. I'm not really excited because it's not the layout I wanted. Maybe I'll get more excited when I get into that other one. But yeah, I don't know. It's just, you know, I had the problem with the apartment. Now I have to wait three more months until I can get the apartment I actually want. Um, oh, and then I forgot to tell you guys. So when I moved in Friday, you know, um, once I got everything moved in, I tried to, you know, set up all my stuff. Like set up my TV, connect my TV to the internet because it's a smart TV, you know, so connect, connect that to the internet, connect my phone to the Wi-Fi because this apartment comes with internet and cable included and nothing is connected. So I'm like, why isn't anything connecting? So I had to call the office and then they gave me the number to who they have internet with. And so I called them and then, you know, we tried to troubleshoot or whatever, but it still wasn't working. The internet still wasn't working. So the lady was like, um, the earliest time I can have someone out there is Thursday. Now, mind you, I called them Friday and they said they can't have anyone come out until the next Thursday until next week. Now, I work from home and I only took off Friday and Monday to move. But now because I have no internet and they can't have anyone out here until Thursday, now I have to use my vacation time to take off up until Thursday. So now I'm off seven days in a row because the internet doesn't work in here either. So I'm just like, this apartment does not want me to be great. Like, I think that's why I'm just over it already. So I'm like, first, I don't get the apartment that I want, so I get into it with the manager, the apartment manager. And now when I move in, the internet doesn't work. So now I have to use a good chunk of my vacation time just to sit here because there's no internet and they can't send someone out here until Thursday. So I'm just like, bruh. So yeah, I'm pretty much over this apartment. And another thing I don't like about this apartment is the way 
I'm facing. Like it's the placement of the particular unit I'm in. Like I get no sunlight. So my apartment is pretty much dark all the time too. So it's dark all the time. And then I also don't have a balcony or anything. So it's just like, uh, I'm in a shoebox. I'm paying a lot of money to be in a shoebox with no internet. So, you know, because I'm having all of these problems and situations with this apartment, like now I'm really thinking like I should just get a house. So who knows? I'm thinking like maybe in the next year or so, I'm gonna start looking for a house because I'm having so many problems with this apartment. Like when I tell people how much I'm paying in rent, they'd be like, girl, you can get you a whole house and pay less than that. Like, they, like they're shocked at how much I'm paying for rent. Who knows, but you know, now it's in the back of my head, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I also went by the P.O. Box today. So I want to share with you guys some of the stuff I got. Um, if you don't know, I do have a P.O. Box. So I always put it down below in the description box. Like you don't have to buy me anything, but if you just want to send me a letter or anything, just talk to me or whatever, you can always just mail it to me. My P.O. Box, like I said, is down below in the description box. So yeah, it's there if you need it. All right, so, so this says it's from Bee's Creations and more. Let's see what Bee's Creations got going on. Oh my gosh! Yo, this is so cute! Y'all, look, it is a bottle with my name on it, Curly Candy! Can y'all see? Will it focus? That is so cute, that is so dope! Oh my goodness, who sent this? It was something else. Oh, and it's a bonnet! This is cute. It says faith, believe, pray, wisdom, Jesus Christ. And it has like some scriptures on here. Oh, that is awesome. It's also a bonnet. Little set in line bonnet. This is so cute. And it's yo. I needed a bun. I was just about to buy me one because I needed another one because I don't know when I moved. I lost my bonnet. I don't know where it's at. But this is perfect. Oh my goodness. Let's see. We got a little note. It says, to Curly Candy, I want to say I love your channel. You are funny and keeps attention. That's for sure. However, I wanted to send this gift from me to you. Like as a do your thing, LOL. I can say you have helped with different styles and routines. Lord knows I can't do hair to save my life, LOL. I have two girls, so I had to get a niche on it quick because I can't afford a hairstyle for two girls every two weeks. I feel you, honey. So you definitely saved me. Let me tell you a little about myself. My name is Bianca. I'm a mother of three kids. I started Beast Creations and more to keep me from going crazy because I had two kids born in the same year. Oh my goodness. Two kids born in the same year? Are they twins? That's a lot. That kept me busy when I wanted to give up. I just wanted to send a customized gift from me because you never know who is watching. Your channel really helped me. This is and thank this is a thank you gift. Get down, get down, boy! You done lost your mind. Sorry, y'all. I'm not that type of person. Stole him be on my cabinets. He know better. He knew better in the other apartment. I'm gonna have to break him in here, cause that's a no no. He tripping. He tripping. All right, where did I leave off? Um. Okay, this is a thank you gift. So with that being said, I hope you like them. May God bless you and your family. Sincerely, Bianca Beast Creations. Oh, thank you, Bianca, y'all. Y'all, we have to support Bianca. We have to support everybody in the Curly Candy crew. Anything else you for information? Okay, here it is. Y'all, check out, check out Bianca and Beast Creations. Can you see? I'll, let me see. Hold on, y'all. Let me get up. It don't want to focus, but I'll put it here. Like, I'll put it right here or something. You know, Bee's Creations and more from, from fellow Curly Candy Crew member Bianca. Y'all, show Bianca some love. Everybody in the Curly Candy Crew, we have to support each other. You feel me? Y'all, thank you for real so much. Y'all, this is so cute. Bianca, you my girl. Like this is the first gift I've gotten from a subscriber. I'm so excited. Oh, I feel so loved. Thank you. That's so cute. Let me set her right here. My bottle. Where my bonnet? Shoulder bonnet. Is it showing? 
There we go. There we go. I'm just gonna rock the bonnet like this for the rest of the video. All right, so I think this is a PR package. It is. From, yeah, so this is a PR package from Freeman. And again, if you don't know what a PR package is, it's when brands send you stuff for free. You don't have to review it. You don't have to do anything with it. Like there's no obligation to the product. They just give it to you for you to try it. And then they hope you mention it. So, all right, so first they sent me the Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. Is it gonna focus? Right there. Okay, let's see what else we got. The, what is this? A peel off gel mask for new and cucumber. And y'all, honestly, I used to, I used to use Primus a lot, but I was like, when I was like in middle school, high school, I used to always buy it. Oh, my mom or whatever used to buy it for me. And this is the purifying avocado and oatmeal clay mask. Like y'all know about Freemans. Freemans be everywhere. But Freemans being like Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. Freemans is everywhere. Oh, this is new. I ain't never seen this before. Child, it is a cheeky butt smoothing and toning sheet mask. You really put this on your butt? What is it supposed to do? It's supposed to tone and firm for picture ready sweet cheeks. Picture ready sweet cheeks. I ain't taking pictures of my booty now. Okay, but yeah, this is cheeky butt it's a sheet mask. It's a sheet mask for your butts. Y'all, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if that'll work. Like, okay, we'll see. We'll see. I feel like the, but I do feel like the tone your butt, just do some squats. I don't know. I don't know what a sheet mask gonna do, but we'll see. <laughs> and then this is, what is this? Micro Darks Pro Dark Spots Brighten. Ooh. Okay, y'all, I'm excited. Now, I, now this I'm excited about. Because, y'all, I have dark spots all on my nose. I don't know if there's sunspots or what. But it's, like, right here on my nose, I'm starting to get dark spots. So, I'm trying to remember to wear sunscreen when I go out. But, yo, I got to get rid of these spots on my nose. Now, this I'm going to try tonight. They're both the same. They're the same package. But it's the, let's see, is it going to focus? So yeah, I'm done with that. That's all I had in my P.O. box this time when I checked. Again, thank you, Bianca. That was so sweet. Y'all, I'm sorry. Storm over here playing with this box now. Stop chewing on that box. All right, where did I leave off? I don't know. But y'all, this is my first vlog. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, I'm just going to try it and see. A lot of times, like, since it's my first time vlogging, Y'all, a lot of times I just forgot to introduce. I forgot to tell y'all where I was. Like, I just pulled up the camera and just, like, it just started recording like I didn't even tell y'all where I was or why I'm here I just popped up <laughs> so I don't know this is gonna be interesting bear with me and let me know if you liked it or not like I feel like I want to try to start vlogging but only if I'm doing something like interesting like it's not gonna be like a weekly vlog or anything like that because I don't really do anything but I mean like like for this one I was moving like if I have something to do then I feel like I would want to record it and vlog and then try to get better with vlogging because I got a feeling that this one isn't too good. But yeah, so now I'm about to cook. I found this recipe on Pinterest for it was like a low calorie Cajun shrimp pasta. It looked really good. So I'm about to try that. I'm not about to record it because y'all ain't about to clown me on my cooking. <laughs> so y'all are going to see that. This is probably the end of the vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video if you care. And I will see you next time. Bye.